Joining me now, former State Department spokeswoman and White House Senior Director Nayira Huck. Uh, Nayira, put this in perspective for us. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump launched this attack while uh, the Chinese president was at Mar-a-Lago, while they were having their very first summit. Is he trying to send a message to both China and, and uh, North Korea that he is willing to act unilaterally? Well, there's a lot of political theater going on right now, and the, certainly the question is, the strikes last night, are they just a fancy fireworks, or are they actually for a larger strategic goal? And what we're really seeing is that we have a president who is willing to take unilateral action. He's willing to, on a moment's notice, launch missile strikes. Now, going up while he's chatting with China, leaders of China, that does show that potentially he is willing to go make some decisions against North Korea similarly as well. What we're missing, though, is the diplomatic follow-up. Uh, Secretary Rex Tillerson referenced yesterday the Geneva process, uh, potentially for removing Assad, which is unfortunately a stalled political process that's been going on for several years now, exactly the kind of frustration that people around the world have been expressing with the international order. So what are we going to be doing as a military and diplomatic community in the United States to really end this threat to the Syrian people? Uh, foreign policy uh, officials and uh, military officials say Syria and Russia are, are one thing. Uh, what we are really concerned about right now is North Korea, mm -hmm. and that is the biggest threat on the world stage at the moment. How does Kim Jong-un uh, interpret what President Trump did last night? Does that send a message to him, or does that only embolden him? Well, it certainly shows that at least one of the two parties, and right now that's the United States, is willing to launch missile strikes unilaterally into another country. So far, what we've seen from North Korea is they have the capability, to potentially, to be able to launch a strike all the way across to the United States. And they, they like to do these testings of missiles as a show of strength. Uh, the unfortunate side is that you have 11 million people who have been displaced in Syria, have nowhere to go, and we really don't see Syria ever coming back together again into anything resembling a country. So launching a military strike and not attacking chemical weapons it might show a strength in one way to North Korea, but it certainly doesn't help solve any of the problems we're seeing with ISIS and broader terrorism issues in the Middle East. Nayira Huck, appreciate your time.